If I hear this one more time, I think I'm just going to scream for five minutes straight on the next video. Allow me to make this perfectly clear when I say, in order to create anything as a human god, you do not have to believe anything. No hoping, wishing, or believing is required. And I mean none. Let's not forget the other one that says, you don't get what you want, you get what you are, or that you only get what you believe, all lies, period. I'm not even going to go into the whole misnomer of vibration. That is another fallacy turned fiasco I'll address in another video. Sorry, but I had to get that nonsense off my chest. Now let's get down to business. No belief whatsoever is required to get what you want. Your own wonderful human god imagination does not care what you believe. What your god mind cares about and pays attention to is what you choose to experience in both the imaginal world and in the 3D physical shadow world. Now I know the 3D shadow world can sometimes suck with its pesky rules like the buffer of time among its other drawbacks, but we are here on Earth at the moment, and these are the rules we have to unfortunately adhere to while we're on this physical plane. That said, you must be your I am and stand in its shoes right here and right now. And I mean physically stand in your I am's physical shoes, like right now at this very moment. This is literally a ritual, not some run-of-the-mill mundane affirmation or pointless practice, and certainly not some empty belief system. You must use the physical matter of this 3D shadow world to your advantage. Have both the imaginal and physical experiences right now. Whatever physical matter you can get your hands on that implies you are the desired version of your I am God self, grab it immediately, take full advantage of it, and most of all, use it. I mean drink, eat, bathe, dress in whatever that physical implied matter is. Now do you have to physically do this more than once? No, you do not. Can you do it more than once? Yes but only because you enjoy the new physical version of your I am self, and not because you feel it will speed up the creation process, or calling yourself reaffirming this physical ritual for good measure. In other words, only repeat for pleasure. This should be your playtime to enjoy yourself. Allow all of your senses to take in and take hold of your new I am physical position. Beliefs are technically defined as what is not true at this very moment, but what could possibly be true in the future. If this is where you are or where you live in the creative process, it's categorically incorrect and completely off base. Also, don't confuse experiencing with pretending. Do not think of this ritual as some kind of weird masquerade, but as what it truly is. A real 3D life physical action the new version of your I am self is actively performing. If you have a fake it till you make it approach, you're doing this totally wrong. Neville Goddard says, feeling is the secret. Guys, don't misinterpret our great teacher's words. Neville meant to feel literally, to feel physically. Meaning, put your hands on it, put your hands in it, wear it. Adorn yourself with the implied 3D matter physically. Literally, hold it in your hands. Feel it against your skin. This physical, ritualistic experience is what will trump belief every time. Think of it this way. When you experience your desire in a 3D physical way, what would be the point of belief? I mean, it's done. I'm physically holding it in my hand right now. I do not have to believe anything. I call this physical ritual going to the 3D nth degree, meaning I leave no stone unturned. I go all out and I go over the top. Whatever I need to imply I am now living the physical experience of my preferred I am self, I literally try to make with my own hands if possible, or I go out and get an implied symbol to take full possession of. Remember, all you need is an implied symbol something to tangibly hold as a beacon of your wish fulfilled. Okay, now here's the example. Several months ago, during the height of the housing boom, 
there were literal bidding wars for houses. Houses would sail in a matter of days, sometimes in a matter of hours without housing inspections. I decided I wanted a particular house and made it my business to take ownership of it. So I went online and found a deed in the county and city of the home I wanted to buy and duplicated it. On the deed, I put the address of the home I wanted along with my name. I made it as identical to the deed I found online, including the state seal sticker. But wait, you guys know me. I didn't stop there. During an open house on a weekend, I arrived at the house, walked in, looked around, and found a secret place to drop the deed of my ownership, which was under insulation in the attic of the house. I laughed to myself and said, This house is now mine. I made an offer on the house and was initially outbid by someone else. Days later, the chosen buyer's deal fell through and my bid was accepted. I never believed the house was mine. I simply assumed it was mine because my deed of ownership was in place and left in the structure of the home. However, by this time, I was seriously considering building a home instead of buying a new one that was move-in ready. I backed out of the offer, and the seller proceeded to lower the price of the home, for which I still turned down. The house was ultimately sold to someone else, but I recently noticed it's for sale yet again right now and has been on the market for several months. Keep in mind, my deed of ownership is still in that house calling my name, and we all know creation will not be outdone. Guys, this is what I mean by the 3D nth degree. Take this lesson and example and customize it to your desired I am. Again, don't waste your time believing. Instead, invest your precious time experiencing your desire to the nth 3D degree. Thank you guys for making this channel a continued success. And please stay tuned for more in your face styled new content. I love you all so much. And thank you for taking time to listen.